Are we down to our uh, <coughs> Second reason on our to amend chapter 2, article 4, with respect to various boards and commissions. Is there more? I make a motion that I want to postpone it. Uh, until we get the language correct. Mm -hmm. So I would like to postpone the second reading on this ordinance until the language is correct that they presented here. I think we may, you know, we'll go ahead now. Um, you, you, you are second? Yes, sir. Okay, any further discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Let me just, if I can explain something, maybe John can go further about boards and commissions. It's not a Calhoun County problem, it's a state problem. If you've been down to the Association of the County, county meeting, and would have heard the problems the whole state have with boards and commissions. Some of the problems we got, we got right in Calhoun County. We have some people on boards who are no longer with us, who are deceased. Uh, because we couldn't replace this. The younger folks, it's a different time now than it was a long time ago replacing people. What this thing is going to do, would do, is it would, uh, it would have a, Shale probably could explain it better than me. Uh, Shale, you want, can I let you, can bother you to interject a little bit of what, if we, it's not running people off of boards, it's putting more qualified boards on, and making sure people are qualified in those fields. I mean, it's some boards you could put me on if you had a, a, a medical board and slap me on there. Well, I couldn't help you. I mean, I'd just be a person there. We're trying to bring these things more in line. The whole state's doing that. And to put good people, and everybody's good people, but as we know, all of us are not qualified for everything. It's just that simple. <laughs> See, you, you might can bring them up a little bit. You know? um, so in essence, what we're looking to do is have a pool of, everybody here. Um, we're looking to have a pool of applicants to serve on our various boards and commissions. Um, like Chairman said, a lot of times we have, you know, appointments. People have been on these commissions for a very long time. They want to get off. But there's no one there to serve. Um, so what we want to do is have a pool of applicants, people who are genuinely interested in that particular board or commission to apply through the software called Match Board. Um, and what you would do there is just submit and say, I'm interested in housing, I'm interested in construction, I'm interested in museum, whatever you're interested in so that we can match the person with what they're looking for. Um, what's in place, if you're already on the board and you want to remain there, that would still happen. And we're not kicking anybody off of boards, we're just simply trying to have a pool of people who are ready to get on board and, and serve in a lot of the boards where we need reappointments and need people to actually work. Yeah, we, we feel that uh, if you're on boards, you need to attend meetings. Uh, as I said again, I was down to the um, Oil Span Council of Government, one of my own board members. I didn't know he could make a presentation like that. That's why it's important for council members and for people to attend meetings. I mean, it's, it's helpful for you all out here today because you get the information. When you sit and get the secondhand information, we don't know what's going on. And we want to put people on these boards who are going to come to these meetings and make these decisions. We don't want to make the decision for all the boards. I mean, somebody said dictatorship. Well, we don't want that, but we want competent people on these boards uh, to serve and who will make the right decisions. And that's what it's all about. But may, I, may I interject something and ask a question? Um, I remember at the last council meeting in December, Shayla had mentioned putting um, something online where people could apply for those boards. Is there any way we can go ahead and implement that? That way we can see if this is going to work? Yeah, that's that's one thing we wait to get this yeah, passed. Once we get this passed, then, 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 then we'll implement that and go into our online stuff. I think Orangeburg already has. I mean, they're one of the leaders in the state for doing that. But that's why we wanted to get this online so we, we could always go back and change something that's not working. But we wanted to get this online, and that's why we put you know. Okay. But we'll, uh, we'll just put that on hold until the next time. Maybe some of you all have some questions. Maybe you can contact Shayla. Or whatever and see what's going on and stuff like that. She can say, you know, if, uh, check with Orangeburg County, the leading county in the state is doing that. So we, we're not wanting to kick anybody off the board and tell exactly who's going on the board. I mean, but that's our job anyway, to pick people going forward. But we want to make sure, I know in some of my my areas, I'm looking at people who I got who've been there, and people who just stay there. 
uh, it probably wasn't qualified to start with. And uh, it just sit there and, uh, and just, just still sit there. But we want to get this stuff right. That's how we cut out a lot of confusion when we get the proper board members in. And so that's, that's the only thing we're talking about. But, but we have time to study that and see how we can get it. See what <coughs> Okay. So that's second reading is on hold on that. Ordinance 20, 22-27. Uh, first reading an ordinance to amend chapter 30, Article 2 to dissolve the County Fire Commission and to amend chapter 30, Article 3, regarding to the duties and responsibility of the San Juan Fire District in the Calvin County Rural Park District. Mr. Chairman, I move that we adopt Ordinance 2022-27. Is more than to do that second? I'll make a second, and with my second, I will also <clears throat> let everyone know that I am known to change my vote, and this is first reading, that we will get questions answered that you won't answer. Um, and we will move forward if the vote so carries. But um, that's where I stand on the second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Yeah. Well, I give you a chance to say that. Sorry. I know you're a little nervous the first time I've been, but uh, you know, all these shows we got, you know, but yeah, we'll uh, uh, all in favor, aye. Aye. Yeah. Oppose this response now if you like to vote. No. Okay. Okay, probably move them. It's, um, it's the eyes have it. I'm sorry. The eyes have it. Uh, let, me, let me just say something about it. I'm talking all, all the night here too much. I mean, because I think I need to talk. I want to explain to people we're not trying to hurt them in any way. One of these things. The way the county is getting run now, we got to make changes. I mean, you can't just continue to go, it seems like, now I hope it would be, but changes have to be made uh, sometime to get stuff done. I, you know, I had a meeting with a couple of the fire departments the other day. I told them I'm gonna get more involved with them. I am, because um, I was, it was kind of leaving it up the committee. But um, we don't want to hurt anybody's, whatever they have going. But at the same time, we want you to understand what we have to do. I think we have to come together, come together, and that's that's why I come together, and, and, and that's why we have free readings on these things, so we have a chance to inject stuff. And I'm, I'm, and I'm gonna make sure when I talk with the Sandy Run Fire Department, the chief, the other day, I told him I'd make sure that our people talk with him. I wanted to know what's going on, and uh, you know, not try to hide anything from anyone. So we we want you to know what's going on, but to get a working something working going, you sometimes need to have um, the thing out front. And then we can ask questions and we can talk, and we can talk it down. The three reasons mean exactly that. Uh, Cecil made a great point there. Just because we pass first reading to get it on the book, that don't mean the thing is gonna pass. That's why no way, no means thing we pass. It's just giving us the opportunity to get it on the book. So we can discuss it. The more we prolong it, and don't put it on the books, we don't know what's going on. So let's get it on the books. And like you say, I, I have I have come in here, a room full of folk and council and come in and talk with a councilman. He and I are riding to none of these people. I'm not talking about any of these people up here. And he and I are talking good, and I thought, sure, he was supporting the thing. And we got back. He didn't vote for it on the second reading. So that happens. That happens. But it gives us a chance to see how people are thinking, see what's going on. Um, I, I like to relate back even to the Sandy Run situation with the housing. I wish I had been involved more. Didn't thought it was a big issue like it was. I hold me for that. I will be involved now in all these things I need to be involved in. I will be there and I can really make a, my own personal opinion. So I just want the community to know that we are there for you. My phone, I think a couple of people who call me will tell you I will answer the phone. If not, I'll call you back. Because I, you know, I want us to be on one guard. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, just throw that, throw that out to you. That we're not trying to ram anything down. Okay. Ordinance 
22-28, second reading. The Lord is to amend chapter 22, article 2, and article 3, and to add article 4 to require a franchise agreement for convalescent transportation in Galveston County. <clears throat> Make a motion to move forward on second reading of orders 20, 22-28. Second. Probably moving second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, likewise. Uh, now we move down to administrator. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, I've just got a few things here in response to some questions that were posed. Uh, previously, I guess, right before the holidays there, uh, in regards to felos, in regards to ag properties, and fire village and fire fee. Uh, do businesses with felos pay fire fee? No, they don't. Uh, do ag properties pay a fire fee within the rural district? Uh, yes, they do. Do ag properties pay a fire millage in the San Juan district? Yes, they do. Do felo agreements cover fire millage? Yes, they do. Uh, and would existing FELO agreements be impacted? No, they would not. Okay. Certainly, if you have any other questions or concerns regarding this, feel, feel free to get, me in get in touch with me. I'll be glad to walk through that. I think those are some questions that came from the public. That's right. Yeah, well, if he didn't satisfy your answer, uh, you can call the administrative office and uh, <coughs> get in touch with them. Okay. John, do you have anything else? No, sir. Okay. I think we've amended the budget that we I amended mean, the uh, meeting that we were uh, going to the next session on personnel matter. Mr. Chairman, I move that we go into executive mm -hmm. session to discuss the personnel issue. Yeah, I'll second. I'll second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 We are going to dig. I don't think we're going to bring anything out that people want to break. Hey, around here.